Today we're going to be hooking up a servo motor to a microbit microcontroller. The materials that you're going to need today, in addition to your servo and your microbit, are going to be the cables that we'll use to connect the motor to the microbit. So there are a couple options. If you have some of these alligator to male cables, then you just need three of those and you'll be all set. We don't have enough of those, so we're actually going to need three of these jumper cables that have pins on both ends. And we're going to need three alligator clips. So the first thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna move my micro bit out of the way, and we're gonna look at the colors of the cables that are on the servo motor. These cables are color coded. This brown is, um, it could be brown or black, but that cable is gonna be your ground cable. In the center, the red jumper cable is our power. Um, so that is gonna connect to our three volt pin. And then our orange cable is um, the cable that we're gonna connect to a programmable pin on our microcontroller. So, um, if you can color code, it is helpful, but it's not required. You just need to know what each of these three cables is meant to do. Um, I found some jumper cables that are pretty similar in color, so I'm gonna connect orange to orange, and I'm gonna put this pin into our connector here at the end of our servo. I have a red cable that I'm gonna connect to red. And then I didn't have brown, so I just got another dark color and I'm gonna use this blue cable here. Okay, now on the other end here, I'm going to connect some alligator clips. Um, and the reason for that is just because then the other end of the alligator clip clips nicely onto my micro bit. So I am gonna try to, again, get as close to color coding as I can. Um, not required, but helpful. So blue alligator clip, I will clip onto the blue cable, which is attached here to brown, so that's my darkest cable. I have red, so I'm going to connect red to red here. And then lastly, um, I did not have another orange, but I do have yellow. So I got something kind of close in color, and I'm going to connect that there. So, so far I have a setup that looks like this. This is not connected to anything. Now the other ends of my alligator clips, I'm going to connect to my micro bit. So I'm going to kind of roll these cables over here a little bit so we can see what's happening with these. All right, so here is my micro bit. I'm going to take the cable connected to brown on my servo, that's my darkest line here and that is gonna to connect to my ground pin. And then we said the red servo motor in the center there, red needs to connect to our power pin, so that's gonna go on three volts. And then lastly, our programmable pin, that's the orange cable on the motor, is going to connect to a programmable pin. And now you're ready to connect to your computer and start programming your micro bit. The last thing you might need is the battery pack. Servo motors run on quite a bit of power. The three volts might not be enough on its own. So when you connect this to your computer with your USB cable, you may also want to connect the battery pack um, so that you have a little extra battery power to run your servo motor.